How many guns has the ATF lost? Uh, I'm not sure I understand the question. Um, uh, Is it a difficult question to understand? Uh, well, <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you're referring to uh, any particular incident or time How many period. instances should we be looking at where you've lost guns? Um, so if, if what you're referring to is what happened at the National Destruction Branch, no guns were lost. They were stolen by an individual who's now in prison, right. uh, who was right. not right. an ATF employee. But there were recommendations made on what you should do so that you don't become the victim of the theft, and the inspector general saying you're not following them. I'm quoting directly from the inspector general's report. Thousands of firearms, firearms, parts, and ammunition had been stolen from the ATF. So you gave testimony that the brave ATF agents are the ones showing up at 2 in the morning after a burglary, but it seems as though in this case... You were the one burglarized. Why have you not followed the recommendations of the, of the Office of Inspector General so that you aren't the mark? Um, again, uh, it is, it, I, I want to say that it is a brave women of, of a, men and women of ATF who do do this. That's not a, a well, I know what they're doing. I know what they're doing. They're day. getting robbed on one hand, so you can't keep a hold of the guns you're supposed to have. But then... You do keep a hold of a bunch of stuff you're not supposed to have a hold of. We, the GAO report, firearms data, ATF did not always comply with the Appropriations Act restriction and should better adhere to its policies. As a result of breaking the law, didn't you guys have to go and delete like a quarter of a million records that you illegally kept? Uh, again, uh, with respect to both the inspector general reports that you're talking nope, about. One's inspector we, general, one's GAO. Well, Very the, GA, the, the, yep. the, the, the inspector general report... Uh, ATF that happened uh, several years ago, more than that. 2022. And ATF, and ATF the has, the, the report, report came out, but the theft, and yeah. ATF has implemented uh, numerous different safety measures with respect to the national uh, destructive brand. Well, I mean, he, I'm, I'm reading to you from the report from last year, Mr. Director. We found that the NDB staff does not currently, currently in 2022, adhere to established operating procedures in place to mitigate risk of firearms being lost and stolen. So I guess I, th that shows an ATF that is not functioning correctly and is not responding to the problems you create. You keep records you're not supposed to. It was a quarter million of them you had to delete, right? Um, I, I don't believe that that is... Uh, was it over 200,000 that you had to delete? Uh, so what, what, what was happening was... I just want to know the number of records you had to delete that were not being lawfully, lawfully maintained. There were, there were records that were, had not actually been searched, but my understanding Hundreds of is thousands were searchable. Of them. And so that's what you guys do. You keep what you shouldn't keep. You lose what you're not supposed to lose. But how do you treat regular Americans? I got this letter from someone in my district, uh, a firearms dealer. I have been a firearms dealer for 46 years. For 46 years, I've had a good relationship with law enforcement. Then came the ATF's zero tolerance policy. Two years ago, while in the process of selling a firearm to a customer, I completed their background check using Florida's FDLE firearm purchasing program. The background check was uneventful, and FDLE rendered an approval number. Some months later, during an ATF audit, I was told the background check was now a non-approval. Even though FDLE made the error, it was on my paperwork, so ATF deemed it a willful error. After completing close to 50,000 background checks over 46 years, why would I willfully ignore this background check? The answer is simple. I did not. But the ATF has revoked my license, ended my career, and my livelihood. So I guess the question is, why should you be able to destroy the life of one of my constituents over a technicality where they weren't even at fault when you all lose thousands of guns and illegally keep hundreds of thousands of records? Respectfully, uh, with res Congress has, has given us uh, the authority to inspect and make sure that firearms dealers, the vast majority by the which are compliant, they are our first line of defense. Um, in, in dealing with uh, straw purchases. This guy isn't your first line of defense anymore. He's fired. But a very small uh, minority, those dealers, uh, after due process, uh, have a been A small minority? 
A small minority, ATF, enforcer of gun laws, lost thousands of firearm parts to thieves. New data shows ATF gun store restrictions at the highest rate in 16 years. Mr. Director, the definition of hypocrisy is when you can't live up to your own standard. So you have imposed a zero tolerance policy that is resulting in the highest rate of revocations in 16 years, and you wouldn't be able to meet your own zero tolerance policy because you lose stuff you're supposed to keep, and then you keep stuff that it's illegal to keep. Uh, and by the way, I am one of those MAGA Republicans that would defund your salary, your agency, and I, don't, I, and I think all these good things that you say exist could happen with those folks at the local and state level, and this is a, is a terrible abuse of power.